Hi everyone and welcome to an On Point Bar workout with me, Shauna Kathleen. I have an awesome workout for you guys today. I'm super excited to share it with you. It is. It includes or starts with our standing bar work, which includes low impact cardio. From there, we do some um, inner thigh work and some, a lunge series. And then we are gonna come down. We have biceps, chest, and shoulders. And of course, we end with abs. So here we go. Starting with our warm up, you have three opening breaths. So inhale, arms up and exhale back down. Again, inhale, arms up, exhale back down, and one more time. Inhale, arms up, and exhale down. From here, shoulder circles to the back. Big exaggerated movement, bringing those shoulders up and over towards the back. And good. From here, switch direction. Up and over, forward. Up and over, forward. Up and over, forward. Good, coming to the bar. Let's go ahead, face the bar. We're gonna start with right leg lunge tap. Here we go, lunge it back and tap, back and tap. Here's eight and up, seven, up, six. Here's five and four, warming up the body, heating up those muscles. Here's two and last one, switch legs. Here we go, 10 and up, nine and up. Here's eight, seven, six, five. Here's four and three, here's two, and one, alternating legs, here it goes. Right leg up, left leg up. Here's right leg up, left leg up. Here's six and up, five and up. Here's four, up, three, up, two, up. Last one, turning. From here, start in parallel, turn out from the hip into first. You're gonna come down, releve, up, connect the heels. Down, up, up, connect the heels. Down, up, up, connect the heels. Down, up. Up, connect, here's down, up, up and down, here's down, up, up and down. Abs are pulled in as you go through this movement, nice tall posture, and bring it down, here's down, up, up and down. From here, you've got releve only 10, here's nine, here's eight, grow taller, seven, six, inner thighs are engaged, here's five and four, pull those abs in, two, and last one, outside leg lift, up, 10. Grow that leg longer. Here's eight, extend in point seven, six and five and four. Here's three and two and one. Plie up and over, reach. Here we go. Plie, reach up and over. Plie, reach up and over. Grow longer on the outside. Here's seven, squeeze the inner thighs together. Here's six, squeeze them together. Here's five, glutes are engaged. Here's four, reach, reach, reach. Here's three and two. And last one, turning back towards your bar. Here we go, left leg, lunge tap. Here's 10 and up, here's nine, up, eight, seven, here's six and five, quick tempo. Here's four, here's three, here's two and one. With energy, here we go, right leg up, nine and up. Here's eight, up, seven, here's six and five, here's four and three, Here's two, and last one, alternating legs. It goes left leg up, right leg up, left leg up, right leg up. Here's six, up, five, up. Here's four, and three. Here's two, and last one. Turning the other way this time, starting parallel, turn out to first, here we go. Down, up, up, connect the heels. Down, up, up, press those heels together. Down, up, up, engage the inner thighs. Down, up, up and down, here's down, up, up and down, here's down, up, up and down, here's down, up, up and down, stay on my pace, here we go, down, up, up and down, down, up, up and down, from here, releve only 10, here's nine, here's eight, grow taller, seven, up, six, lift, five, four, inner thighs engaged, here's three, two, and last one, outside leg lift, here we go, 10, up, nine, here's eight, seven, six, here's five, and four, here's three, two, and one. Plie up and over, reach, here we go, 10, reach, nine, grow longer on that whole side of the body, eight, here's seven, reach, 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 six, and five, squeeze the inner thighs together. So reach and squeeze at the same time, reach and squeeze, reach and squeeze. Good, from here, turn, face the bar, walk back. We're gonna take a nice little stretch here. We're gonna start with like you would start with a cat cow in yoga. So you're gonna tuck the tailbone forward 
and then round up to kind of an angled standing position. Send the tailbone back, slide back down. Okay, same thing, tailbone comes forward, round up. Send the tailbone back, slide back down. One more time. Tailbone comes forward, round up through the spine. Chest and chin come forward, tailbone goes back, slide back down, good. From here, let's take left hand to the center and the right hand just falls forward as you reach forward. And then let's step out left side and lean out left side. And back to center, switch. Right hand comes up, fold forward. Just let that left arm just hang. And then step the right leg out and lean out right side. And back to center, go ahead, drop both arms, come all the way down, forward folding bend. And let's go ahead and bend one knee Come back to neutral, bend the other knee. And round on up to standing position. We're gonna go into our cardio coming next. Our standing, our whole standing bar series, but we always start with low impact cardio. So that low impact cardio is going to be um, ballet marches, you've got 50, and then we have 30 angels. Excuse me, we don't have angels. We have the grand plies, bar version. So they are not the Ballet, right? We have the opposite of ballet arms. When you're down, arms, arms are down. When you're up, arms are up. Then we have wide sec second position plies followed by a lunge series. Here we go. 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44. March and march and march and march and march. Remember, you're being nice and dynamic with the arms. So the arms pull and pull and pull and pull. That's coming from the lat. So behind the shoulder blades, you want to think about pulling there with the arms and then you're lifting the leg coming from the lower deep, deep, deep abdominal muscles. Okay, so you're lifting and lifting and lifting. It is not a kick, not a kick. It is lift, pull, lift, pull, lift, pull, lift, pull. Okay, nice quick tempo to get that heart rate up and the lungs going and then we come down, grand plie. So you find that second wide position and you just come down and up, moving that arm, right? When we do the low impact cardio, in order to get the same effect as a high impact cardio, we need to make a big movement. So you're coming low to high and we are using arms and legs and we are going at a nice quick tempo. Those are the three things, okay, good. So keep going up and up and up. Be nice and purposeful with the movement, right? Nice and purposeful with that arm, it's up and up. You're not just flapping that arm, it's pur purposeful movement. Okay, keep going up and up. And up, we have ballet marches, here we go, 50, 49, and up, and up, and up, and up. Try and stay on the same pace as me. If this is too fast of a pace, you have two options. You can either slow down and count to yourself 50, and then, and then put the video where I'm back to where I'm starting into the plie series, or your other option is just to take the same amount of time that I do, but go slower and then build your way up into that tempo, okay? So with my tempo, it's up and up. Maybe this is your goal tempo. Maybe you're faster than me. I don't know, but you gotta keep that form. The form is important. From here, here we go. Wide second position and up and up. When you're down, hand is down. When you're up, hand is up. Opposite of ballet, arms. And that is because I have found in teaching all the classes, sometimes it's too much for people to think coordination wise. And so I just made it super simple and I put when you're down, hand is down, when you're up, hand is up. It's just really easy for people to remember. If that doesn't work for you, do what works for you. Okay, if you're more traditional ballet, give me the ballet arm. The key is to just move and move and move and move. Exhale as that arm comes up. Keep going and done. Okay, we're gonna turn, we're gonna take a nice, Wide second position. We've got plie down, 15, squeeze it up. Control it down, squeeze it up, 14. Here's 13, squeeze it up. Extra emphasis on the glutes, 12. If you push down through those heels, 11 at the top of the movement, here's 10. So I want you to control down, squeeze from the top of the kneecap all the way to the waist, but on the way up, and then give me extra emphasis by pushing down as you come to that standing position, down, 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 into the floor with those heels. That's super important for glute engagement. Okay, push, squeeze and push. Okay, good, from here, we're gonna go. Step out and slide it back. Step out, resist with your inner thigh as you slide back. Step out, slide it back. Step out, slide it back. This should not hurt your knees. If it's bothering that inside knee, then you need to make sure that you are tracking that knee in between 
the first and second toe, okay? And you wanna take a nice wide squat here and then slide back from here. Now we're gonna come out, releve, and slide back in. So same movement, we've just added this releve here and back in. Come out, releve, inner thigh. Come out, releve, inner thigh. Come out, releve, inner thigh. Give that internal resistance of that inner thigh as you slide back. Okay, good. From here, we are just going to, let's see, it's this one here. Here we go. Just releve the foot out there. So it's 10 and up, nine, up, eight. Stay low, seven, but the heel comes high. Here's six and five. Here's four and three. Here's two and last one. Keep it there. That heel stays high. Lift and pulse. Here's nine. Pubic bone comes slightly forward. Squeeze the glutes. Here's seven. Pubic bone and glutes, six. Squeeze the glutes, five. Here's four. Stay low. Here's three. Keep the heel high. Here's two. And last one. Perfect. We're going to come bring it back. Now we step out, releve, and bring it back. Step out, releve, inner thigh. Step out, releve, inner thigh. Step out, releve, inner thigh. Okay, keep moving through this. Bring that heel nice and high. So you come low, heel comes high, inner thigh resistance, internal resistance as you come back towards the body. Okay, good. From here, I believe, we're gonna come out and we're gonna releve, nope, we've got one more. Releve only, here's 10. Ah! Here's 10, nine, here's eight. And seven, stay low. Here's six, stay low. Five, here's four, and three, here's two, and last one. Keep it up there. Give me a small pulse. Ten, pubic bone comes forward, squeeze the glutes. Here's eight, pubic bone and glutes. Here's seven, here is six. It's just a little movement, but it's super concentrated. Here's four, squeeze, three, squeeze, two, squeeze, and last one, squeeze. Good. Okay, nice job. From here, we're gonna go into a lunge series. We're gonna start with lunge tap. It's lunge and tap. So if you have your right leg in front, we're gonna be working on squeezing that right glute. So you squeeze, and I wanna give you a little cue that helps tremendously to engage that glute muscle. You push down through the heel to come up. Press down to come up, and then give me an extra little, extra little squeeze at the top of the movement. From here, stationary lunge. Bring the left leg back. Now we're going to be in the left glute. So you come down, squeeze that left glute. Here's nine. Lift it. Eight. Lift it. Seven. Lift it. Here's six. Squeeze and lift it. Here's five. Squeeze and lift it. Back knee comes nice and low. Sometimes when we do a lunge, um, the back knee is more straight. I want that back knee bending and coming down. Here we go, little mini. Squeeze, lift, and release. Squeeze, lift, and release. Squeeze, lift, and release. Push down through that front heel in order to engage, in order to engage that glute even more. No weight is in that front toe. You should, you should be able to lift the front toes. All the weight is in the heel. You press down, squeeze the glute. Press down, squeeze the glute. Press down, squeeze that glute. Okay, you wanna not be in that front quad, so you wanna make sure that you are squeeze, squeeze, squeezing and engaging that glute muscle. Okay, push down into that heel to really feel that muscle. Squeeze, 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 nice and tight. Slow and low movement, just a small movement, good. Okay, here we go again, lunge, tap. Lunge, tap, same thing. Push down through the heel in order to come up to that standing position. Upper body stays nice and tall. Okay, head is lifted, chest is lifted. Okay, from here, let's lunge and tap. Push down to come up, down to come up. Lunge and tap. Big, full range of movement. Okay, good. Squeeze that front leg glute as you come up, right? Okay, here we go, stationary lunge. Now we're in the back glute. Okay, so that other glute gets a little break. So as you come up, squeeze and lift that back glute muscle. Squeeze and lift that back glute muscle. Okay, good. Full range of movement all the way down. See how my knee comes nice and low? I want your knee to come nice and low. Low, low, low also. Okay, good. From here, we've got little minis. Two sets of 10. Here's 10. Squeeze and lift. Here's nine. Squeeze and lift. Push down to come up eight. Here's seven and six. Squeeze and lift at five. Here's four and three. Here's two, slow and low. And one. Second set of 10. Here we go. You can do it. 10. Here is nine, squeeze, push down to come up, eight. 
Here's seven. Remember your breathing, exhaling as you come up. Here's five and four, or as you lift, here's three. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze tight, two, and last one. Nice job. Woo. Give those legs a little shake out. Let's go ahead and take a stretch. Right heel to right glute. And go ahead and swing that leg. No, let's go ahead and switch legs. Left heel, left glute. And then let's go ahead and come down to a nice straddle bend. So take the feet wide and just fold forward. And then from here, let's walk one side. Pull yourself in, feel that nice stretch. And then same thing, other side. Pull yourself in, feel that nice stretch. Hands come back to the center, hop or step your feet in, and round on up to standing position. Good job. So we're gonna do same thing, same series, other side, starting back with that cardio. So it's march and march and march and march. Okay, remember, you're pulling with the arms, using the back, using the lats as you pull down, and you're lifting for in the core muscles. You're lifting to bring that leg up, so it's lift and lift. Lift and pull, lift and pull, lift and pull, lift and pull, lift and pull. Remember the breathing, exhaling as those knees come up, as the leg comes up. Remember, it's a lift and not a kick. Okay, we've got 50. Keep moving, let's go. And up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and up. I know I sound like a broken record, I'm trying to give you the pace that I want you to be on. Good, from here, Y second position, and you're up from here. Exhaling as you come up, exhale as you come up, exhale as you come up. Okay, good job, try and give me that nice quick tempo. Okay, you might not be on the same pace as me, whatever your pace is, you're choosing a pace that's fast and challenging for you, right? I want that heart rate up. This is the cardio piece. So don't treat it like a strength piece. It's not a strength or a skull piece. This is a cardio piece. So I need you to push a little bit, okay? I need you moving, full range of movement, down and up, down and up, down and up. Okay, good. Here we go, back to marches. Up and up and up and up. You've got 50 and up and up, good. Pull and lift, pull and lift, pull and lift, pull and lift, good. Upper body stays nice and tall. Your posture is nice and tall. Head is lifted, chest is lifted. Okay, here we go. Big movement with the arms, lifting from the legs, not kicking, extend. You have a nice long leg with just a, a small bend in the knee. Keep going, it's up and up and up and up and up. Almost there, keep going. Okay, Whew. remember the breathing, exhaling as that leg comes up. You can do it, almost there. This is our last set of cardio, here we go. Um, grand plies, bar style, right? And up, and up, and up. And up, last little piece of cardio here, almost there. And it's our last cardio of the day, so you can do it. Hang in there, up and up, exhaling as you come up. Okay, good, big movement, big movement. Okay, purposeful, graceful, dynamic movement all in one. Those are the three words you're thinking of all in one movement. And almost there, keep going, keep going. You can do it. And up, and up, and done. Whew. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this this way, but it's the same series, okay? So we plie down and squeeze it up. Control it down and squeeze it up. Control it down and squeeze it up. You've got 15 like this. Okay, good job, squeeze. So we're squeezing everything from the top of the kneecap to the belly button as you come up. Control the weight down, squeeze it up. Extra emphasis on the glutes, if you want, which I think we all want, right? <laughs> um, is squeezing, or sorry, pushing the heels down into the floor. So you squeeze everything up and then added resistance or added push down and squeeze the glutes at the top. Okay, here we go. Now, we're gonna step out, use the inner thigh and slide it back. So it's like you're dragging the heel and using that inner thigh to drag that leg back. So this is not a fast movement. This is a focused movement, okay? Not a fast movement, a focused movement. So pull it back, use the inner thigh. Give yourself that internal body resistance from the inner thigh. Come out and slide it down. Come out and slide it down. Come out, releve and slide it back. Okay, you out, releve and slide it back. Eight more. Come out, releve. Slide it back. Here's six, releve, inner thigh. Here's five, releve, inner thigh. Here's four, releve, bring it back. Here's three, releve, bring it back. Here's two, lift and slide. Last one, lift 
and slide. From here, we're gonna take it down, releve only, stay low. Oops, I squeezed in an extra one there. Okay, from here, we've got releve. Here's eight, seven, and six. Here's five, and four. Here's three, and two, and one. Keep the heel lifted, we've got small pulses. Here we go, here's 10. Squeeze and release, nine. Pubic bone comes just slightly forward, squeeze the glutes, here's seven. Small movement, here's six. Concentrated movement, here's five, and four. Here's three, and two, and last one. Good, from here, slide it back. So we step out, releve, slide it back. Step out, releve, slide it back. I think we've got eight, I believe, and bring it back. Here's seven, and bring it back. Here's six, inner thigh. Here's five, inner thigh. Here's four, lift and slide. Here's three, lift and slide. Here's two, lift and slide. Last one, lift and slide. We're gonna come out and we're gonna releve only. Stay low, heel comes nice and high. Here's nine and eight. Here's seven, six, here's five, and four, here's three, stay low, here's two, and last one. Now we go pulse, squeeze it forward, squeeze, push the pubic bone just slightly forward, squeeze the glutes, here's eight, and seven, squeeze it, here's six, and five, here's four, make sure your heel's nice and high, here's three, and two, upper body's nice and tall, and done, into the lunge series, here we go, lunge tap, here's 10, and up. Here's nine, and up. Here's eight, press down to come up. Squeeze that front leg loose, seven. Here's six, and five. Here's four, push down to come up. Here's three, posture's nice and tall, two. And last one, stationary lunge. We've got 10 of them, here we go. Take it all the way down to the floor, squeeze that glute. Okay, so now you're in the back leg glute. Here's eight, here's seven, squeeze it. Squeeze and lift, six. Squeeze and lift, five. Come all the way down, knee touches that floor. Here's three, two, and last one. We're gonna come into minis next. Here we go, little mini. 10, two sets of 10, nine. Squeeze and lift, eight. Push down into that heel, squeeze and lift. Here's six, I think, and five. Slow and low, four. Here's three, two, and one. Give me 10 more, here's 10. And nine, press down into that front heel. Those front toes are lifted. All the weight is in the heels. Almost there, keep going, slow and low. Slow and low. Lift and squeeze, press down and squeeze. Press down and squeeze, and done, good. We're gonna go one more time through. Lunge tap, 10. Here's nine, and eight. Here's seven, press down to come up. Here's six, same move that we did in the warm up. only now we're really focusing on muscle work. So I want you to squeeze and press down to come up. You've got three more, here's three, and two, and last one. From here we go, stationary lunge. You've got 10 of them. All the way down, squeeze, back leg glute. Here's nine, squeeze it and lift. Here's eight, and seven. Squeeze and lift, here's six, and five. Here's four, squeeze and lift. Three, here's two, exhaling at the top of the movement, and one, good. From here, two sets of 10 little minis, here's 10, squeeze and lift. Nine, push down into that heel to come up. Here's seven, and six, five, four, three, two, slow and low, and one, next set of 10, here we go, 10, stay down there. Here's nine, you can do it. Here's eight, almost there, seven, squeeze and lift, six, Squeeze and lift, push down into that heel to come up. You've got four more, here's four. Stay in there, three, you can do it. Here's two, and last one. Woo, nice job. Let's take a stretch break. Go ahead, bring that right heel to right glute, or left heel, left glute. And from here, take it on up, onto the bar. Hips are square, you're gonna fold over, forward, over that leg. And from here, turn the foot, open the hip, and side bend over that leg. And same thing, other side. So you're gonna take the other heel to glute. As you pull that heel back towards the glute, you're pressing the thigh or the hip forward. You're gonna turn, we're gonna take it up onto the bar, folding over that leg. And from here, turn the foot, open the hip, 
and side bend over that leg. And release, bring it down. Okay, let's take a drink break. You have earned it, really good job. I'm gonna play your little drink break music and I'll meet you back. We have mat work coming up next. Okay, so here we come, we're starting on our upper body mat work. So we're gonna start with a push-up series. I wanna explain this to you because there's some different pieces to it. The first, we're just gonna do eight regular push-ups. Then we're gonna go five down in a one count and up in four, and then we're gonna switch it down in a one count and up in a four count. And then we're gonna try and do five fast. Following that, we're gonna do a shoulder press series and finish with some bicep curls. And then we're gonna go all the way back to the beginning, starting with push-up series and go all the way through for a second time. Okay, so go ahead and move your bar out of the way or your chair, whatever you were using, and grab your yoga mat. And make sure you have your small weights near you. Okay, you just wanna have them close. So starting with our push-ups, I like mine with a nice wide grip or a wide hand position, not grip, excuse me, a nice wide hand position with your fingers turned slightly out. Okay, that is how I feel you can engage from the chest the most or most people can feel the chest working. So see, my hands are nice and wide position, fingers turned slightly out. Okay, here we go, all the way down and up. Here's seven and up, coming as low as you can, six. Here's five and four, here's medium pace three, and two, and last one. Now we're gonna go down, slow, 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 and up fast, down, slow, 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 up fast, down, slow, 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 up fast, two more like that, down, slow, slow, and up, slow, 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 and up. Now we're gonna go down in one, and up, slow, 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 down in one, and up, slow, 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 three more. Down in one, up, super, super, super slow. Two more, down, slow, 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 up. Last one, slow, 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 up. Now, try and get me fast, five and four. Here's three and two, and last one. Good job, sit back, let's take a quick little stretch, child's pose. Okay, good, from here, you're gonna grab your weights, and we're gonna start into that shoulder press series. So. Making sure knees are directly below the hips, hands are nice and wide, and you're just gonna press into a wide shoulder press. Here's eight, press it. Seven, press up. Here's six. Exhaling as you press up, five. Here's four, abs pulled in. Three and two, and last one. From here, we're gonna come wide and then turn the palms and bring it in. Okay, so we're gonna alternate between this in position, turn it out, and out wide. Okay, so. Here's out, lift and in, lift and out, lift and in, lift and out, lift and in, lift and out. Okay, good. Keep this going. Exhaling as you press up. Controlled movement, right? You're controlling the movement. You press up and you control the movement down. Okay, good. Almost there. From here, now we're gonna press back. So the elbows are just coming back towards that back wall or towards whatever's behind you. Pressing back, press back. This is like a chest opener, but you're also engaging the back. Press it back. Now we're gonna bring elbows together. Think about using your upper chest to bring those elbows together. So it's stretch and then press. Stretch and then press. Think about chest, chest, chest. Stretch and then press. Stretch and then press. Stretch and then press. Stretch and press, good. Keep going. From here, elbows stay together and lift. Here's nine, eight, seven. Elbows are together. Here's five, four, here's three, two, and one. Now we're gonna go one side. Same movement that we just did, only one side. Elbows stay parallel to the ground. You've got six, I believe. And five, touch the elbow. Here's four, and three, 
Here's two. And last one, we're gonna switch sides. Okay, here we go, switch. Here's 10 <laughs> and nine. Touch the elbow in. Here's eight. Arms stay lifted. Seven. Here's six and five. Here's four and three. Here's two, parallel to the floor. The arms are parallel to the floor and bring it down, bicep curl. Put both weights in that right hand. Okay, so you're gonna curl up. Now, you have probably light weights, so I need you really focused on squeezing the muscle at the top. We're gonna take 10 regular bicep curls, and then we have eight working on the negative. Okay, so we're just taking our regular bicep curl now. I think you've got three left here, let's see. Here's three, here's two, here we go. Now we're gonna switch, okay? So see this negative, okay? So you lift it up, squeeze the, the bicep, and then keep that bicep contraction. Okay, so squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as you resist, as you internally resist, and then bring it down. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the bicep, 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 bicep. Keep it squeezed and bring it down. Okay, lift, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hold that squeeze and bring it down. Same thing. Okay, bicep, bicep, bicep. Sexy arms, sexy arms. And last one, I believe. Good job, from here, set it down. Okay, give the arms a little shake out. We're gonna go back through to the push-up series. So hands start in that wide position, F fingers are turned slightly out. Here we go, down for eight regular. Here's eight and seven. Here's six, if you wanna do pu full push-up, do full push-up. I've had a shoulder injury in the past where I don't typically do full push-up. Here's two. And now we go, so change it up. So slow down and press it up. Slow, 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 slow down and press up. Three more like that. Slow, 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 slow down and press up. Two more, slow it down, fast up. Slow down and fast up. Reverse it, now we're gonna come. Down in one and lift, 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 slow, slow, slow. Down in one, slow, 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 back up. Three more, down in one, here is up. Down one, one, and here we go, last one. Slow, 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 up, good. Give me five fast, here's five, up, and four, and three. Here's two, and last one. Take a small little child's pose. Rest the shoulders. And good. Okay, so we're gonna go through that same shoulder series that we did, shoulder and bicep, um, series that we did the first time. So go ahead and grab your weights, starting on your knees, in your mat, on your mat, okay, same thing. Knees are in parallel position, directly below the hips, arms are wide, or elbows are wide, and you're gonna press up nine. Here's eight press, seven press, six, and five. Control the weight down, four. Here's three, two, and last one. Okay, now we alternate, coming in, up, and out. Up, and in, up, and out, up, and in, up and out, good job. Okay, so chest is up. You have a nice tall posture. Chest is up, chin is up. Okay, you wanna, like a balloon is lifting the crown of your head up towards the ceiling, right? Even though we're working shoulders, we still wanna be conscious of our posture. Abs are pulled in, okay? I don't wanna have a big like sway in your lower back. Pull those abs in. Okay, good. Continue through this movement. Okay, now we have press back, press back, press back press back, chest opener, but engaging from that back, okay, as you pull the elbows back, 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 okay, and then we go into the center, using upper chest, think upper chest, pulls those elbows together, touch them, try and actually touch them, the arms stay, upper arms stay parallel to the floor, okay, good job, keep going, exhale, as you come in and press the elbows, exhale, as you come in and press the elbows, here we go, elbows together and lift, here's eight, seven, six, five, four, here's three, two, and one. Now we're gonna go one side. Whatever arm you started with first last time, you wanna start with the other arm. Here's eight, and in, seven, and in. Arms stay parallel to the floor, six. Upper arm stays parallel to the floor. Here's five, and four. Here's three, here's two, and last one. From here we're gonna switch. Here's 10, and in, nine, and in. Here's eight. Exhaling as that, as that arm comes forward, here's Five and four. Here's three and two and last one. Okay, good. From here, take it down. Okay, give a little shake out. Going into bicep curls left side. Here we go. Ten, 
curl and squeeze nine, curl and squeeze eight, internal resistance seven, or internal work coming here with that muscle contraction in the bicep. Here's four and three, here's two, and last one. Then we're gonna go into negatives, okay? So squeeze it up and then control the weight down. Here we go, squeeze and control. Keep that squeeze, keep that squeeze, keep that squeeze. Lift it, squeeze, 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 squeeze. <laughs> keep the bicep nice and tight through the down movement. Okay, squeeze all the way down. Give me four more, here's four, squeeze it. And three. Here's two, keep that contraction. Make that bicep nice and tight, 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 tight. And last one. Okay, good. From here, set the weights down. Let's take a quick little stretch and then we're gonna go down for abs on the mat. So first take the arm across the body, actually hug it in and wrist circle and change direction. Okay, give a little shake out. Same thing other side, take it across. Wrist circle and change direction. Okay, good, give a little shake out. From here, take the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, chest and chin are lifting as you press those arms down towards the floor, fingers or knuckles are trying to reach down towards the floor, then release and lift the arms. Okay, good, let's take a quick little neck stretch, nice and gentle. Okay, both shoulders are, are away, coming away, down towards the floor, away from the ears. Okay, and switch. And super gentle, we're gonna to come to the center, super, super gentle. Don't pull with the, with the hands. The hands are just there to support the stretch, just bringing that chin down towards the chest, okay? Good job, let's go for abs on the mat. So our abs are really simple, this, this uh, series, but I love these movements, okay? So we start with just our basic crunches. Then we have what, are called, what I love and call one, two, three bicycles. That's one, two, three, pause, one, two, three, pause, okay? And then we have a side V-up series, which is also another one that I love and my clients love and I get good feedback from that. So I'm gonna step you through these, let's go. We're gonna start with our basic crunches, so go ahead and come down onto your mat. Knees are bent, okay? Hands are behind the head, elbows stay nice and wide, and you're just gonna crunch up, okay? Squeeze, using the abs, you wanna think about the abs lifting your, the upper body, lifting the upper torso, and they're gonna lift, pull in, the abs lift, pull in towards your knee, and then the belly button pulls down into the mat. So each time you crunch, I want you to think about up, in, and down, up in and down so it's not a fast movement right if you're thinking about up in and down each time it's a controlled movement here we go bicycle so this is one two three pause one two three pause one two three pause one two three hold one two three hold i love these one two three hold one two three hold here's one two three hold one two three hold one two three three, hold, one, two, three, and hold. Okay, good. From here, we're coming to that little side series. So we start with knees, or, sorry, legs are gonna come out and the knees come in. Here's four and three. Open the upper body, two and one. Now we straighten the legs, keep the legs straight. Up, lift, here's four and three. Here's two. And last one, back to the knee ins. Here's knees in and then open. Knees and open, three more. Three, open, here's two, open, controlled. From here, straight leg, up five and four. Here's three and two and one. Back to knees, knees in, five, open, four, open, three, control, two. Exhaling as the knee and the elbow come together. And from here, lift, five and four. Here's three and two, and last one, great, okay? I love those three combination of those sit-ups. We're gonna repeat those again, all the way back to crunches, okay? So lift, and think abs, 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 work as they lift. Up, in, and down, lift, up, in, and down, lift, up, in, and down, up, in, and down. Exhaling as you come up, elbows stay nice and wide and out to the side, you're not pulling the neck, Okay, make sure you're not making the movement from the neck. The abs are work, 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 working. Okay, good. From here, here we go. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. Here's one, two, three, hold. And one, two, 
three, hold, and one, two, three, hold. Here's one, two, three, and hold. Here's one, two, three, hold. Did I mention that I love these? And hold. Here's one, two, three, hold. I do. One, two, three, hold. I hope you do too. One, two, three, hold. Here's one, two, three, hold. And done. From here, side series. We're going to do other side, of course. So we have five knees and five straight legs. So open and close. So it's open and contract forward. Open and forward. Open and forward. Two more. Here's two. And last one. Here we go. Straight legs. Five and four. Here's three and two and one. Back to knee ends. Here's five. Control. Here's four and three. Exhaling as you come forward. Two. And last one. Here we go. Up. Straight legs. Five. And four, here's three, reach, and two, reach, reach, reach for the toes, and one, here we go, knee and last, five, and four, here's three, and two, and last one, straight leg, this is it, here's five, and four, here's three, and two, and last one, super job, good job. Let's go ahead and stretch, so come down onto your mat, okay, make yourself nice and long, 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 long. And from here, bring the right knee into chest and ankle circle. And change direction. From here, go ahead, straighten that leg and bring it back towards the upper torso. So as you pull the leg back towards you, you wanna also think at the same time about anchoring the tailbone or the sit bone down into the ground. Same thing on the other side, bring the knee in, ankle circle. And change direction. Go ahead, straighten that leg, bring it back towards the upper torso. And release. Go ahead, bring it on up to sitting position. We're going to come into a wide straddle sit position. Okay? And you want to move your sit bones back and walk yourself forward. Okay? Try and keep the back nice and long. You don't want to be rounded over. You want to be more like a long back. And just sink into this stretch. Again, it's not about pulling into the stretch here. This is about sinking and releasing down into that stretch to get further. From here, we're going to come over one side. Go ahead and extend over that leg and then round down. And again, thinking about sinking down and releasing whatever is tight here. Hamstrings, hips, whatever it is, back even. Okay, from here, side bend over. And enjoy that nice little stretch. Release. From here, turning over the other leg. Fold over. Extend over and then round down. That's what I want you to think. Extend and then round. And from here, sink down into that stretch. Enjoy that nice stretch. And go ahead and come into that side bend. And release. Okay, bring one leg in and the other leg in. And come on up. Let's, let's stretch from our knees today. I think I stretched from my knees today. Go ahead and take that nice neck stretch. Again, thinking about shoulder away from the ear, both shoulders actually away from the ear, and then go ahead and switch. And then chin to chest, not pulling the head, just supporting that stretch. Nice and gentle, super gentle. Okay, good. One arm across body. Go ahead and wrist circle. And change direction. You can never wrist circle enough, I feel. <laughs> and same thing, other side. Same thing with ankles also. You can never uh, ankle circle too much. I love it. And release. Give the arms a little shake out. And let's go ahead and take our three opening breaths. Inhale, arms up. And exhale down. Again, inhale, arms up. All the way overhead. Exhale down. And one last time. Inhale, arms up and exhale back down. Nice job, everyone. Thank you so much. Hope this, was, hope this series was a good workout series for you.